Hello, and welcome to this quick guide to MVL Co certifications. This video will give you information about various certification programs offered by MVL Co. By the end of this video, you will understand about MVL Co. Its certifications, the target audience for the trainings, pedagogy, and mode of delivery. You will also understand the process of certification exam and other useful resources. MVL Co. was founded in 1996 and it focuses on BFSI domain. It operates in three service lines, consulting, assurance, and trainings. The trainings and certifications are offered through MVL Co. Center for Banking and Fintech. These are some of the esteemed clients of MVL Co. Central banks, national clearinghouses and payment providers of different countries. Multinational and Indian banks. leading IT companies and consulting firms, and reputed BFSI training institutions from different parts of the world. Now, let me tell you about MVL Co. certifications. Let me start with certifications in payments. MVL Co. offers different certification programs covering end-to-end -end payment processing for domestic and cross-border transactions. It includes messaging clearing and settlements for payment systems across the globe. It also covers ISO 222 messaging. Similarly, CCPSP certification in cards covers end-to-end -end processing for issuers, acquirers, and card schemes, while EMV Masterclass focuses on EMV standard for cards. All the course contents are regularly updated to capture the latest trends and technologies. MVL Co. also offers certifications in trade finance, investment banking, AML CFT, and digital lending. The CBDP program covers all the banking areas at fundamental level and is the best suited certification for those intending to enter banking domain. Now, how do you choose the right certification for you? First, select the area of interest and the level of domain knowledge required for your job role. Also, understand the focus area of each certification. If you need any clarification, reach out to MVL Co's training counselors. For example, let us understand focus areas of various payment certifications. Let's assume a payer initiates a payment by sending a message to originating bank. The originating bank processes the transaction using payment engine and sends a message to a payment system or clearing and settlement mechanism. The payment system completes the clearing and settlement. Then, a message is sent to the beneficiary's bank and accordingly, the beneficiary's account gets credited. While all the courses cover end-to-end -end process, CIPSP certification focuses on the highlighted portion and more specifically on how different payment systems operate. The payments messaging and processing within a bank is covered in brief in the certification. Then, the CPPS certification focuses on payment processing within a bank. It explains how a payment engine processes a transaction and interacts with other upstream and downstream applications. The Payments Messaging, that is, SWIFT MT Messaging and ISO 222 or SWIFT MX Messaging is covered in depth in ISO 222 Masterclass for Payments and CPME Certification. You can check out the brochures available on the website for detailed course contents, or you can connect with the training counselor for more details. Let's proceed further and understand who is the target audience for these certifications. MVL Co. certifications are crafted for fintech professionals, consultants, and bankers. For example, it includes developers, testers, business analysts, product owners, solution architects, subject matter experts, consultants, project managers, and many such profiles.
The certifications help in gaining domain knowledge and also improve chances of getting your intended job role. Some corporates cover some of these certifications during employee induction program while some consider MV ELCO certifications during employee appraisals. Now let me tell you how these courses are delivered. The classes are interactive and allow participants to discuss their questions. The discussed concepts are revised and participants are evaluated through quizzes after completion of a module. Further, the study material and additional reading material is provided to the participants. As far as the delivery of courses is concerned, it is done in three different ways. In person or live classroom and live virtual classroom through something like Zoom, Webex or Teams let the participants interact with the trainer, while recordings mode allows participants to go through the training as per their own convenience. In case of recordings, participants can send their questions through email. The participants may either get written response or a call may be arranged with the trainer. Once the course delivery is over, you can take up the certification exam. Let me explain the exam process and the pattern. An exam would be assigned to you after course completion. The exam is conducted through online mechanism and can be attempted within three months from course completion. The exam would have multiple choice questions based on concepts covered in the course. The questions are randomly generated out of the question bank, and thus, every participant may get a different set of questions. It is an open book exam, so you may refer to your notes, study material, or any other resource while taking up the exam. You are not allowed to take help of anyone else during the exam. The questions focus on assessing understanding of a concept instead of testing the memory. Therefore, some questions may be straightforward while some may be based on case study or situations. The proctoring is through web camera or selfie camera and is completely automated. In case any red flags are identified by the exam tool, the back-end team investigates the matter further. The course fee includes one free attempt of exam. If unfortunately, you can't clear the exam or don't take up the exam within three months, you may get in touch with training counselors. They will assign you another attempt. However, every additional attempt is charged separately. For passing the exam, you must correctly answer at least 60% questions. There is no negative marking and every question carries one mark. If you pass the exam, you will receive a digitally signed certificate. The certificate has perpetual validity and a unique certificate number. You may provide the unique certificate number during your employment so that your employer can validate the authenticity of the certificate by contacting MVL Co Team. This takes us to the last part of this video. Here is the list of some of the other resources. You can get additional information about certifications and training calendar on the website. You can follow MVLCO's LinkedIn page to understand about key insights related to banking domain. The training calendars are also published on LinkedIn page. MVLCO also has a community or group of fintech professional on WhatsApp. This group is used by members for sharing the latest updates, resolving questions, seeking help regarding projects, and sharing job opportunities. This group also represents MVLCO's alumni network. You can also visit MVLCO's YouTube channel for short training videos. These are extracted from live virtual classrooms and can also be considered as demo training sessions. You may also follow MVLCO on other social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and so on. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please reach out to training counselors, get certified, and stay ahead of the competition. Happy learning!